So welcome to the ZMY Begin class. We're gonna start by lying down on our backs. So lying down with the knees bent, or if you feel like, um, you know, putting the bottoms of the feet together and having the knees hang out, if that feels okay and it's not pulling on your inner thighs, go ahead and do that. You can just rest both hands on the belly or on the floor. And begin to feel all the parts of the body that are connected to the mat. The hips, the feet, the shoulder blades, the head, the backs of the arms. And just begin to connect with your mat. And then bring awareness to your breath and the quality of breath that you've brought to the mat this morning, not with any attachment or judgment or expectations, just to notice the quality of your breath. Breathing in and the belly expands and carrying that breath into the lungs as the lungs expand and then exhale, everything drops back towards the spine. And if you decided to open up the knees today, remember you can, you have the choice to change your mind at any time. So you can always bring them back together and hang the knees together. And you know, when we come to a yoga class, we don't need to have a specific intention or reason why we're here. The fact that we just made it to the mat is a really big deal. And we can just have some gratitude for that for ourselves. But if there's something that you'd like to work on, you know, letting go of something or just focusing on this is my self care, I'm going to be easy on myself and do the best I can, you can choose that. We're gonna take a few more breaths, just lying here. One more deep inhale and then separate the lips and exhale. And then we're gonna straighten the legs. So if your knees are apart, bring the mat together, straighten the legs, bring the arms overhead and take a really long stretch, circle the wrists and the ankles, maybe take a yawn. And then bring the arms down and bend the knees once again. We're gonna take the left ankle to the right thigh, interlace the fingers behind the right thigh keeping the feet flexed and then drawing that knee towards the chest. So this is our pigeon pose that we have done last time and working on the outside of the left leg. Some people still feel it on the right here. You're gonna feel stretches where you need it and you'll feel strengthening stuff where you need it. So it's gonna be different for everybody. Find your breath here. On your next exhale, bring your feet down to the mat and then we'll do the other side. So right ankle to left knee, interlace behind the left thigh and draw your knee towards your body. Keep the feet flexed and try to soften the muscles in the face. Just kind of notice what you're doing with, with your face. Sometimes we do the poses with our eyebrows or something like that, just release.
One more breath. And then exhale, bring both feet down. Separate the feet and we're gonna just kind of rock the knees back and forth so we can start to open the hips and create some heat in the hips. So your knees are kind of staggered going left to right, like windshield wipers. And then we're gonna slow down this rocking and stop where our knees are pointing back up towards the ceiling. Straighten the left leg, interlace your fingers behind the right knee and bring the knee towards the body. So as you're bringing the knee towards the body, you're extending the left leg through the heel. Shoulders are soft. We're gonna get this right knee as close to the body as we can, and then start to press the heel up towards the ceiling. We're doing it this way just to really get into the belly of the hamstrings. A lot of the times we're stretching and if we're not stretching properly, um, you're getting the fibrous ends of the muscle and it just continues to tear, tear, tear. So we wanna get to the belly and actually make some changes in our, in our legs. I'll take another breath here. Keep the left leg active so it can stabilize this pose for you. Go ahead and bring the heel down. You're gonna take your right hand on that right knee, put your left hand on your left thigh, and we're gonna bring this right knee up and out. So just opening the hip once again. Take a few breaths here, feet are flexed. You can still have your eyes closed here. Just some mindfulness of staying present. You can feel any sensations that are happening in the body as you go through these poses lying down. We're gonna bring the knee back to center and then switch hands. So take your left hand to the knee, extend the right arm. We're gonna come into a twist. So this knee is gonna go off the left side of the mat. Try to stack your hips as much as possible. The right hand is gonna flip up so we can get the shoulder to be externally rotated and soften towards the mat. So we'll take a few breaths here. If your shoulder or your arm is floating, I should say your entire arm. If that's floating, we wanna bring the arm down. We don't want a floating arm. You'll just be pinching off nerves that way. Go ahead and come back to center. Bring the right foot down and then straighten that leg. Take the left knee up towards the chest, interlace behind the knee. Extend through the right heel as you're bringing this left knee towards the body. Just get it as close as you can. Remember to try to keep the face soft. And then we're gonna straighten this left leg, extend through the heel. So for stretching, we're always looking to get to the edge, not beyond the edge, listening to the body. So it feels like 70% effort. I don't know, it's sometimes like measuring that seems really ambiguous, but it kind of just gives an idea of we're not, we're not forcing stuff here. We want actual change. So we're giving it time. We're giving the muscles time to open. And if you're keeping that right leg active, you're also strengthening that leg at the same time, which we're always doing that yin yang type thing with postures, stretching one part of the body, softening the other and strengthening another. Take one more breath here. And then bring the heel towards the body. Your left hand is gonna hold the left knee. Your right hand will go on the thigh. We're gonna lift this knee up and out opening up the hip. And while we're doing said, you know, 30 things, then we have to remember to breathe. So it's never gonna be perfect. It's just a way to kind of train our brain to be able to stay present and to observe without attaching emotions.
Go ahead and bring that knee back to center, switch hands. So right hand comes to the left knee, extend that left arm straight out, palm facing up, and then come into your twist. So draw that knee off the right side of the mat. And take a few breaths here. And exhale, come back to center, bring the foot down. Bend both knees. One at a time, we bring the knees up to the chest. That way it's using, making us use our abdominals and not our back. We don't wanna use our back to lift ever, really. Um, rock back and forth. Squishing the lower back muscles on the mat. And then we're just gonna end up rolling onto our side. So a couple more rocks, bring your feet down to the floor, shift onto your right side, and then push yourself up. So we're gonna come into a seated position. However your legs, however you crossed your legs, I want you to do it the other way. So just to get a little bit uncomfortable and find some balance, the other leg will go on top and it's gonna feel really awkward and weird, but that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so three breaths here, inhale, bring the arms up. Palms together, exhale, hands in front of the heart. Now we're gonna reverse that. So inhale up, exhale down. Again, inhale, reach up. Palms together, exhale. And then inhale up. Exhale, bring the fingertips down. And then inhale the left arm up. Exhale, lean to the right. We're taking a few breaths here, opening the left side of the body. If the left sitting bone wants to lift up, let it. If you're pressing the sitting bone down, that could get into your SI joint and we just don't, we wanna keep that part happy. So just let it lift. Next exhale, bring the left hand down and then inhale the right arm up. Exhale, lean to the left. Take a few breaths here. When you have your eyes open in postures, it doesn't matter where you look for a focus point, but just try to find one spot and keep your eyes on it while you breathe. Go ahead and bring this right hand down. We're gonna straighten the legs out in front of us and bend the knees so that the, um, I'm gonna see, like I'm pretty sure from what I remember last time, you should be good with this. Bend the right knee so that it's pointing straight forward. And then see if you can get this left foot to come across the top. Yep, yes. So we're gonna twist in the opposite direction. So your right elbow is actually, yes, gonna come here, or you can just hold the knee. Left hand will be behind you. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, revolve from the upper back and maybe look over the left shoulder. We'll take a few breaths here. And then exhale, release, come back to center. And then you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So bend the left knee so that the knee is pointing straight at me. Yep. And then right, yes, right foot will come over the left knee. Grab your, yep, inhale, get tall. And then exhale, revolve the upper spine to the right. Try to keep the chest lifted and the collarbone spread. And maybe look over your right shoulder. And then exhale, come back to center, unravel the legs. And we're going to come to hands and knees. And so remember with hands and knees, just because this is the beginning class, we wanna make sure that the fingers are spread, the wrist creases are facing up uh, or parallel to the front of the mat. And the hands are always gonna be in front of the shoulders. Like there are times when they can be directly under, but why risk it? You're just 
you know, just have them in front. Knees are separated. We're gonna do our cat pose here. <laughs> so go ahead and inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the chin. And then exhale, we're gonna lead with the tailbone, round the spine and drop the head. Inhale up, just keep going back and forth. Exhale, arch. You can have your close, eyes closed here if you'd like, but you don't have to. See if you can let the head be the last thing that drops and the last thing that comes up. And that's really just taking it, I mean, the brain always wanting to know what's going on. It always wants to be first. Just maybe keep the brain out of it for a little bit. We'll do a couple more rounds here. And then exhale, come back to center when you're ready. Nice flat back. Take the top of the left hand, press it into the mat. Shift your weight back so we can stretch the wrist out a little bit. And if you're comfortable curling the toes under, you just curl the toes under to add a stretch to the feet. Go ahead and let go of the hand, circle it out a little bit and do the same thing on the other side. So top of the right hand presses into the mat, the arm is straight. And if you shift your weight back, you'll feel more of a stretch. Go ahead and release. Bring your hands to the very top of your mat. And we're gonna do like really big hip circles here. So I'll show you really quick. We're gonna kind of lean forward, lean to the side, lean back, lean to the other side. And you can make it more fluid like a circle for your hips, or you can just hit all four sides of the mat. But we're gonna do big, like three or four going clockwise. And then we'll reverse it. Counterclockwise, big hip circles. And once you've done both sides, go ahead and bring yourself back to hands and knees, bring the hands closer. Separate the knees. Good, you got the hip circles in, right? Okay, good. Bring the big toes together, knees apart, sit back on your heels and walk the hands forward. So we're coming in a child's pose. Your forehead will be on the mat. And something you can do to rest your arms, maybe if you want, I mean, you can have the arms stretched forward, but if you wanna bring the palms together and drop your hands behind the head, sometimes that feels good. It just gives the arms a break. We're gonna breathe here. If it feels good to rock a little bit, you can rock. You can roll the forehead a little bit. One more breath. Go ahead and bring the hands back to the mat. Lift the head and start to lift yourself to hands and knees. We're coming into our first down dog. So curl the toes under and lift the hips up and back. So lifting the hips up and back and the knees, remember, can stay bent. Your ears are gonna line up with the inner arms. And you can pedal your feet here. So we don't have to focus too much right away on say a, you know, a straight spine, just keep the belly engaged, protect the back. Just alternate pressing your heels towards the mat. And then be sure your feet are hip width apart. Find some stillness, lengthen through the tailbone. And then we're gonna inhale, look up. 
and start to walk forward. So just begin to walk your feet forward, however many steps it takes, it doesn't matter. Exhale, fold. When we're doing forward folds, you wanna to try to get the belly as close to the thighs as possible. So if you have to bend your knees here, you go ahead and do that. It just means the hamstrings are tight. Drop the head. Let the head dangle like it's hanging from a thread. Maybe even nod yes and no just to really release the muscles. And then we're gonna go ahead and lift the head, bring our hands to our thighs, elbows pointing up towards the ceiling. We want a nice flat back here. The belly's not hanging. You're pressing the belly towards the spine to protect your back. And then we'll inhale and bring the arms all the way up. Put your palms together and then exhale as the hands go in front of the heart. Good, release the hands. So talking about the, the balance stuff, like, and we did this last time. So with a mountain pose, um, with your feet, and I don't need to see your face. Your fa I, if, if I see your hips or your legs, that's completely fine. Yep, yep, because then I can tell what's going on with the rest of you for the most part. So feet hip width apart, inner edges of the feet pointing straight forward. We're gonna press the ball mounds of the big toes Remember, that's where we're pressing to get that evenness and that balance. So lift the arches, be sure the ankles are nice and lined up. And then from the navel up, we're lifting upward. So legs are pressing down upward for the upper torso, and then just let the arms relax. Your shoulder blades will be nice and strong. The shoulder blades will be drawing towards each other, but the arms can soften and even soften into the fingertips and feel how that can add to the sensation of just an extra layer of relaxation. Feel it through the fingertips, just letting go. You could be staring at a spot on the floor or you can have your eyes closed to have more of a challenge for your balance. And maybe shift your weight around a little bit from the front to the back, side to side, until you find that perfect equilibrium where it feels like you're just kind of floating. We're gathered at the lower navel in and up. And we're lifting the pelvic floor, all four corners lifting up. When you inhale, it feels like there's a hook that comes down to your pelvic floor and just lifts. We'll take one more breath here. And then go ahead and release the muscular action for that. We're gonna come to the front of the mat and do a couple of sun salutations. And we'll start by inhaling and bringing the arms up. Exhale, fold. Remember to bend your knees if you need to, rather than having a round back. Inhale, look up. So eventually when your hamstrings are open enough, you will be able to lift halfway front with fingertips. But until then you might need to use your shins and that's fine. You just get to see your growth. Exhale, step back. We're gonna lower evenly all the way to the floor. You can go down to your knees first, uncurl the toes. Inhale, lift to a cobra. So that's chest, neck, head. Curl the toes under. Bring the hips up and back. We're back into down dog here. We're gonna take five breaths. One. And you can come out of this anytime. Two. Three, deep breathing. four, and five. Inhale, look up at your hands and begin to step forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale your arms all the way up. Bring your palms together. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Good. 
We're gonna do that one more time. So drop the arms, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, get a flat back. Exhale, step back, lower your body evenly to the ground. Uncurl the toes, inhale, lift. Backs of the legs are really strong here. Curl the toes back under, lift the hips up and back. Five breaths here. And you can come into that child's pose if you need to. One. Two. Three. Four, five, inhale, look up, step forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Bring your palms together. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Good. Okay. So we're going to be facing the front of the mat and keeping our hips facing forward but we're gonna take the left leg back and I'm gonna show you the difference between a crescent pose and a warrior pose, only because this is a begin class. Like you don't really have to remember this stuff, but just so you know, a crescent pose, our toes, are, our heel is lifted. Our heel is lifted, but we're still pressing the heel towards the mat. Hips are pointing forward, the knee is bent. And then we can bring the arms up. So bring the arms up as high as you can, keeping them straight. Have your focus point. We're going to take three breaths here. Deep breaths, lifting the ribs away from the pelvis. And then bring your palms together and your hands in front of your heart. You're going to drop the back heel. So the toes are pointing out at like a 45 degree angle. Yep. And the hips are still pointing forward. So this is our warrior one. And we can just take three breaths here with our hands in front of our heart because the legs are certainly working. And then we're gonna hop back to the front of the mat. Just drop the arms, release the pose, come back to the front of the mat and then do the other side. I'm gonna take my rug off so I don't slip. Okay, so right leg comes back, heel is lifted. So we're in crescent pose first. Even though the heel is lifted, soften your heel towards the mat. Front knee is bent. And it should be pretty much right over the ankle. Definitely not beyond the ankle. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, soften your shoulders down, shoulder blades down towards the tailbone. And we also wanna gather at the lower belly here in and up. Have your focus point. Take one more deep breath. Bring your palms together, hands in front of the heart, and we're just gonna drop the back heel. So with warrior one, we're like on this side, we're always gonna be wrapping that right hip forward and then deepening the knee bend. Wrap it forward just to bring your legs straight and strong in the back, good. Yep, and we'll take a few breaths here. Have your focus point. Keep the abdominals engaged, pelvic floor is lifted. And then we'll go ahead and hop to the front of the mat. So just bring yourself back and release. Good. Take a wide stance on your mat. Toes pointing forward. We've done this before. Doesn't mean you have to remember it, but <laughs> okay. So remember the ball mounds of the big toes. If you wanna protect your ankles from rolling out, those have to be pressed. So we're, our legs are really strong here. We're gonna put the hands on the waist. Inhale, get tall. And then exhale, start to hinge forward. Send your hips back, but keep lifting the sitting bones and bringing the shoulders back. Yeah, yep. So it, it's kind of like, it kind of feels like you're sticking your butt out. Like that's how protective you have to be. And then bring your hands down for a minute. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other and try to get a flat back. 
Okay, so you might want, do you have, you probably don't have a block at home, I'm guessing. Okay, that's fine. So you're gonna bend your knees a little bit until you get that flat back. Yeah, and then drop the head, that's good. We're gonna breathe here. Just let the head dangle. Because this way you're still protecting your hamstring attachments, which is up by the sitting bones. And people do actually rip those sometimes and they, it's called yoga butt because it happens quite often. So very protective over your hamstrings. Take one more breath here. And then inhale, look up. Exhale, bring your hands to your waist. And then inhale, come all the way up. Really strengthening for the legs. Yep, and if you ever wanna do this stretch while you're at home, you can actually do it on a dresser or that bookshelf. You can just have your hands resting and just stretch. Yeah, just to stretch. It feels really, really good. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take a wide stance once again. This time, we're going to bring the right toes to the back of the mat. Actually, it doesn't matter. Face them towards me. Yeah, it doesn't matter which side you're doing. Just your front toes will be facing towards me. You're going to bend this right knee. And as you bend it, you'll know if, you're, if your stance is not wide enough, if your knee starts to go beyond the ankle. So find out where your stance is there. And then we're going to take our right forearm really strong. Put it down onto the leg. And then we're gonna inhale this left arm up and all the way over. So we have this nice side angle happening and stretching the left side of the body. Good. This right shoulder, we have a tendency to drop into it. So just keep pushing out of the right shoulder. Good, really pressing the heel of this bent knee. We're gonna take one more breath here. And then go ahead and just press the feet and come up, good. Right toes in, left toes out. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bend into the left knee. Take your left forearm, put it on top of the leg. And then this right arm comes up and over, bicep to ear. Your pinky rotating towards the ground will help you get closer to your ear, yep. And then you reach through the fingertips and through the back heel. So energetically, you feel the opposites of reaching and, and grounding. One more breath. And then press the feet and carefully bring yourself up. Bring the left toes in and you can walk the feet back together and just kind of shake the legs out a little bit. Grab the elbows behind the back. If you can't grab the elbows because of tight shoulders, you know, if you're here, that's fine, but try to reach as far as you can. And then our feet are gonna be in mountain pose. So anytime that we're even just, I mean, we're focusing on the neck here, but we have an opportunity to find balance and strengthen our legs. So we're gonna pay attention to that too, as much as we can. The only thing that's gonna move here is the neck and the head. So be sure that your shoulder blades are doing the work, not here. Make sure these are soft. Look over the right shoulder. And we're gonna bring the chin to the chest. So rotating or rolling, I should say, the, the chin across the chest until you're looking over the left side. And then go back. We'll just keep doing this a few times. If you feel a spot on your neck that needs extra attention, just stop and give it a couple extra rolls. Try to keep the balance in the body and just rotate the neck. We'll go one more time across. And then bring the head back to center. Good, go ahead and release the arms. Three breaths here, inhale the arms up. Palms together, exhale, hands in front of the heart. And then we're gonna reverse that, inhale up. Exhale down, just like we did in the beginning. One more time, inhale, reach up. Palms together, exhale down. 
and then inhale up, exhale down. So one more neck stretch here, and we're gonna be careful with this one. Our right finger is gonna reach towards our left ear. And this is just to, for guidance. Our head is heavy enough to stretch the neck. The, neck, the cervical spine or the neck is the most fragile part of the spine. So we have to be extra careful not to put too much pressure on it. Finger is just guiding. It's guiding the right ear to the right shoulder. And as you bend your neck to, towards the right shoulder, extend through the left fingertips, and you should feel a stretch maybe through the neck and the arm if you need it. Keep the chin lifted here. And then exhale and release. Do the other side. Guide the left ear to the left shoulder. Keep the chin lifted. Notice any differences in your flexibility in the muscles here for the neck. Reach through the right fingertips. Once you have your neck and arm set up, notice where the weight is distributed in the feet. Try to keep that balanced, lower gathering in and up, all of that, all the good stuff. Take a few breaths here. And then go ahead and come back to center and just kind of shake it out a little bit. The stretch that we did lying on our back, we're gonna actually do that um, standing up. So if you have a, a piece of furniture nearby to help you balance, you can use it. Just know that you can use it if you want. I can see you pretty much anywhere in that room. So, I mean, you might not need it, but just in case. Okay. So left hand is going to stay on the hip. We're going to find a focus point first and use the breath to help us balance, shift our weight to the left leg, and then bring the right knee up towards us. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here with the foot flexed. And then bring it out to the side. Bring it back to center. And then we're gonna extend the leg and point the toes, both hands on the hips for one, two, three, and release, good. So what happens with this pose, it evolves into grabbing the toe, which may sound crazy now, but I mean, it, it happens once you grow, you end up grabbing the toe and doing it with the leg straight. So this is the start of that. Go ahead and yep, grab the other leg, have your focus point, use your breath, chest is lifted. The ankle's gonna wobble a little bit. It's just doing its job, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and bring it out to the side. Try to keep the hips pointing forward. Back to center. And then extend the leg, point the toes. One, two, and three. Good, shake it out. <laughs> you never hear, think you're gonna hear something like that in a yoga class, like shake it out. March it out, <laughs> come back to the front of your mat. Inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and exhale, step back, lower all the way down to the floor. So come down to your belly and we're gonna stay here. Use your right arm as a pillow and grab your left Ankle if you can, foot is fine too. Grab something and draw the heel towards the body. You can press your hips into the mat, keep the shoulders back. Once your heel is touching your body, you start to slide it to the outside. So just do what you can here. We're just stretching the front of the leg. Stretching the front of the leg and the strengthening is happening in the shoulder blades, keeping the shoulders back. Go ahead and release, switch arms and move to the left, grab the right. Shoulders back, 
And try to keep the neck neutral here. So if you're able to bring your forehead to your forearm or wrist or something like that, that's preferable. The more we can keep our spine in a neutral position, which is its natural S curve, is going to be healthy for our back and hips and knees and neck. Press the hips into the floor. Take one more breath here. And then go ahead and release. We're gonna bring both hands to the floor, to the lower ribs, and lift up to hands and knees, and then shift back, sitting on the heels. So we're coming back in a child's pose. And here, if you wanna rest the arms, just reach, or just kind of rest the arms along the sides of the body, or reach for the feet. Take one more breath here. And then bring your hands to the floor. Lift yourself to hands and knees. We're gonna cross with the ankles and then lie down. So lie down on your back. For a moment, just go ahead and hug the knees. Lift the tailbone. Be sure that the lower back is flat and pressing into the mat. You can even draw circles on the ceiling with your knees if that feels good. And then we're gonna bring the feet down. So feet back down to the floor. In every class to have a well-rounded class, you really need to have you know, forward folds, side stretches, twists, um, hip opening, and we want back bends. So back bends are what we're doing right now. So now that our spine is nice and warmed up, we can go ahead and safely do that. So with the knees bent, we're gonna keep the feet hip width apart, toes in our mind's eye. We just wanna be able to see that maybe our toes are pointing forward. Um, they might not be, but we're just gonna try. And then we're gonna pretend like we're squeezing a block in between the legs as we lift. That way our knees don't start to open up, okay? So on your next inhalation, make sure your shoulder blades are nice and flat on the mat. On your next inhalation, go ahead and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Try to get the spine off the floor. And you can even maybe walk the shoulders towards each other to get a little higher. An option is to interlace your fingers under your back and straighten the arms. And just keep pressing the inner edges of the feet here and the heels. Take two more breaths. And then go ahead and lower the pelvis to the floor. Let the spine unwind and take a breather. We're doing that two more times. Prepare for our second back bend. Inhale, lift the pelvis. Good. And breathe. Feel the shoulder blades pressing up into the ribs to lift the chest. Take one more breath. Lower the pelvis first and then safely unwind the spine. Good, I'm gonna do it one more time. Take a breather. And prepare. And inhale, lift. So the tops of the legs, the quadriceps, the abdominals, the surface abdominals, those are all helping you lift. Two more breaths. Keep pressing the inner edges of the feet. You can do it and lower. Ooh. Take a breather and then we're gonna flatten the back and hug the knees one more time. So we wanna have that counter stretch 
we just have the spine up in a back bend. So now we want to put it into flexion. So when you're ready, grab the knees one last time. Rock left to right and be sure that the, the spine is flat. You can come into happy baby from here. So if you want to grab the insides of the legs, press the knees towards the floor, or if you can reach the bottoms of the feet and press the knees towards the floor to rock, you can do that too. And then we'll slowly bring the knees back together. Drop the feet to the floor. Extend the legs and take one more stretch. The arms are going overhead. Circle the wrists and ankles. Maybe take one more yawn. And then when you're done, we're gonna come into relaxation. So if you have a sweatshirt or socks or a blanket or even a pillow you wanna put under your head, just get as comfortable as possible here. And then you'll bring the arms down. If you're ready to just come into relaxation, just go ahead and separate the ankles. I mean, you're at home, you're in a safe place. Just completely let go here. Palms face up. Shoulder blades are flat. Begin to soften the muscles in the face. Releasing the corners of the eyes. Letting the cheeks hang. And even feeling as if you're unhinging the jaw. Just letting the teeth separate a little bit. Soften the throat, the collarbones. Feel the muscles in the neck release into the shoulders, down the arms and out through the fingertips. Just feeling that the fingertips naturally curl towards the palms. And soften the rib cage, the front and the back and the sides. And feel the navel fall heavier and heavier towards the spine each time you exhale. And bringing your awareness to the hips, feel the hips unravel, allowing the thigh bones to fall to the back of the legs. And feel this complete release go under the kneecaps, into the shin bones, and then to the calf muscles. Continuing that release into the ankle joints, the arches of the feet, and out through the toes. And for the next few moments, having nowhere to go, nothing to take care of, just focus on your breath and allow yourself to be exactly how you are right now.
Bring your awareness back to your breath. And when you're ready, you can begin to slowly wiggle the fingers and the toes, being careful to gently wake the body. And then move into the wrists, the ankles, maybe rock the head back and forth. And then you can take any movement that the body is asking for here. Try not to think about it too much, just do it. And then when you're ready, you can roll onto your right side. Using your arm as a pillow. And still releasing here, let the belly hang towards the floor. Feel all the parts of the body that are touching the mat to stay grounded. Take another breath or two. And then go ahead, keeping the head heavy, push yourself back to a seated position. bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Thank you for letting me guide you today. The teacher in me honors and appreciates the teacher in you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs>